What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we gotta talk about the Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes segment. Now, I was expecting a little bit more from this segment, more so from Cody, because I, I checked out um um Roman Reigns interview, or he I guess you could say it was an interview. He had an interview um with pat mcafee on his show earlier today and he was pretty much disrespecting cody uh, with no remorse so i was hoping that cody would respond because i'm sure he saw some of the clips and stuff i was hoping cody would respond with a little bit more aggressiveness and he was on the right track but i think they kind of played it too safe with him so uh, we're going to talk about that but first things first before we even get to the main event uh segment um cody is talking to to nick aldis in the back and you see roman uh not roman rain paul Heyman just creeping behind the corner and i think he looked like he took a picture uh so he's creeping behind the corner somewhere and then he creeped back and then you you know you cut to another scene later on in the show roman pulling up paul Heyman uh greeting roman and basically letting him know that he really did come alone. So I kind of figured that was the story they were going with. Paul wanted to see if he really came alone. And Roman was going to most likely exploit that. We knew it was going to be a trap. But nevertheless, we also had a, an idea. We're hoping that Cody was smart enough to not actually come alone. So we get to the main event segment. Roman comes out there, does his usual stuff. And then Cody comes out there. And they have their, they, you know, their, their back and forth, or they're about to have their back and forth. And Roman starts it off with pretty much, you're stupid. <laughs> he, he basically, he, that's what he actually said. You know, you're, you're stupid. You, you, you don't think with your mind, you think with your heart. And he was basically telling them why he, you know, he, he will never end up beating roman and just the way he thinks and then he started breaking down the idea of can you even trust seth rollins because i know seth rollins we were in the shield we were we were dominant in the shield and at one point i thought we were being going to be brothers and family and then he betrayed me so what makes you think he won't betray you so cody responds with that he's like i i i i i understand where you're coming from um and he they start talking about the shield and how dominant he was and he's like but i want to remind you who was the first individuals to beat the shield it was the Rhodes, and i like how he brought that back that was a really good moment him and dustin with their father uh at ringside helping them beat the shield I like that he brought that back. He's like, the Rose was the team to first beat y'all. So, if anything, we, we're about to repeat history. He didn't say that. I wish he would have, but he didn't say that. He also brought up the point that you're right. I may not be able to trust Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins may hate me. He may betray me. But you want to know what? He hates you even more. So, the, the idea of is Seth Rollins may not be the best of friends with Cody, but he hates Roman that much more. And then Cody started to actually cook in a way that I've been wanting him to. He started to try to stir the pot. He's like, all right, since you want to talk about trusting partners, are you sure you can trust The Rock? Are you sure you can trust him? Because at the end of the day, he calls himself the final boss. The question is, who really runs the show? Is it is it Roman? Is it you? Or is it The Rock? Is it the final boss? That's the real question here. Roman responds, basically no selling. He doesn't even really answer it. He's like, bro, you said this already on Monday night. You know, like, what, what are we talking about? This is why I said you're stupid. <laughs> Just keep calling this man stupid to his face. You're stupid. He's like, but I get it. I understand, man. I mean, at the end of the day, you, you're... You're the number two guy. You are the greatest number two ever. You're the greatest number two ever. You know, you might as well, you know, run for office because you got this. You're like a politician. He looked at the crowd. Hey, somebody give this guy a baby to kiss. You know what I'm saying? For his campaign. Like, 
but it's okay because not everybody can be number one because I'm going to be number one forever. So Cody decides to respond saying he hates to admit it, but Roman's going to be put in that category as some of the greats like the Rocks, Stone Colds of the world, um, the Hulk Hogan's of the world. He's going to get put into that category. But for him to say he's number two, no, 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 no. He said, I'm not number two. I'm going to be number one, you know, basically saying I'm going to be the one to stop you, Roman. I'm going to be the one to take that title away from you. Now, this is what I didn't like. He put his hand out to offer, you know, Roman to shake his hand. Roman was about to, but then he shrugged it off like, you know, it was beneath him. and He got, got out the ring. I didn't like that because we've been down this road before with Cody with Cody wanting to shake his hand last year, they did it. And it's like, this guy has literally cheated, cheated you out your WrestleMania match last year. And you're trying to shake his hand? No. Stop trying to shake his hand. Stop all that. They've been disrespecting you for the longest now. So I didn't like that. I don't I don't know why they keep writing him like that. I don't like that. You 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 lose your effectiveness. As a character I can get behind when you're sitting up there trying to shake the man's hand that screwed you out your WrestleMania match last year and is trying to do everything in his power to screw you out this year. So as Roman exits the ring, he snaps his finger, music comes on, but then you see Jimmy and then you see Solo in his dingy ass black hoodie appear through the crowd. And then all of a sudden, Cody's smiling on the ring apron. And then you see Seth in his dingy black hoodie. And you see Jay in his dingy black hoodie. And then they all get up on their apron. And Roman's looking quite surprised, quite perplexed at this situation, which I kind of figured that was going to happen. And then that's how they ended off the show. Me personally, I the segment was okay. I love what Roman was saying, basically trying to be little Cody. But I just wish Cody would have kept the stirring of the pot that's all he needed to do i would have loved for cody to rebuttal you calling me number two when in actuality you're number two to the rock you're number two to the final boss you're the champion you're the wwe universal champion the undisputed champion in wwe and no one's talking about you they're talking about the rock He's over you. He's always been over you. So in actuality, for you to call me number two is quite hypocritical because you've been nothing but number two when it comes to The Rock and his legacy. Like, that's all you had to do. Really get under his skin. Simple as that. That's all I would have did. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that. Wait for when they come on Monday Night Raw. I think the go-home show for Monday Night Raw for WrestleMania. Maybe, but I just feel like they had they had him in the right direction and they didn't keep going. I just don't, for the life of me, I'm not going to be trying to shake this guy's hand because I know he's up to no good. That's my only thing. I'm not trying to shake your hand. There's nothing. If he would have put his hand out to shake my hand, like if Roman wanted to be condescending and try to put his hand out, you know what I'm saying? I would have, you know, definitely moved his hand out the way, or gave him a middle finger or something. I know they probably can't do that on Fox, but I would have smacked his hand out the way. Like, the respect is done. There's no respect here because I know how you operate. I know how the bloodline operate. I know what I'm in store for. There's no respect here. When I said I wanted to take everything away from you, I mean that. So when I mean this with the utmost disrespect, Fuck you or something like that. Go fuck yourself. Bleep it out. Whatever. You know, something. Just give. You don't even have to be cursing. You know, just give us that indication that Cody's had enough and he's not standing for it. And you can still buy into him being a baby face. A baby face with real emotions that's not taking the BS. I like what they did with him at the beginning of the promo. But then they tapered off and now this nigga over here trying to shake his hand. Fuck all that, bro. If I'm trying to take everything from someone, I'm not trying to shake your hand. So, but comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy 
this segment on SmackDown? Uh, do you guys feel like it was worth the week's build? Or do you feel like they could have did this a little bit better? And uh, let me know how y'all feeling about overall just the Bloodline story as a whole right now. Are you guys enjoying the direction they've been going with it this WrestleMania season? Or have you guys not been enjoying it as much? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love, support, road time, 50k, and I'm still in speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next week. Peace.